Hi and welcome students. For today's lesson in Microsoft Access 2016, I'm going to go over the basic terms and what Access is used for, as well as what you're going to see when you actually open up the program. Let's go ahead and get started. So when you open up Microsoft Access, you'll see that it displays a lot like the Microsoft Office in general um, display screen. So this front screen here shows your recent files along the left. You can open other files in the bottom left corner. And then along the right side, you see uh, the templates that you can choose from. You should see your sign in and name up here. And then you should see a list of templates below. Like in all Microsoft Office products, the blank version is in the top left. So I'm going to show you that today. So I'm going to open that up. It'll ask you immediately for a name in Microsoft Access. So I'm going to just call this one example and it's going to save to my default folder inside my documents folder. If I wanted to change that, I could click right there and basically choose the location to put the database. So I'm going to click create right here and you'll notice it'll open up with the Microsoft Access screen. You'll see some uh, similarities between other Microsoft Office products and this one, like the quick access toolbar up in the top left. The quick access toolbar provides one quick link to, or one click to basically get to saving, undo and redo. Uh, as you move ahead you'll notice that the access window up at the top displays your file location and name. That's a little bit different from Microsoft Microsoft Word or Excel that'll just display the document name. This one actually shows you the location as well. In addition to that you'll see the minimize, maximize, and close options like usual up at the top. Alright, so now we get to the ribbon right here and we notice the ribbon is a little bit different in Microsoft Access. We see all of our tabs over here and then we see this option right here that says table tools. That's because we currently have a table option or a table open. You guys can see right over here along the left side in the navigation pane it says table one. The fields tab which is right here it provides options for adding, removing, and formatting in the table. So similar to when you click on a picture in Microsoft Word it'll open up your uh, picture styles display. This one, if we're in a table, it'll give us our options for our formatting our table. All right, as we move along here, we can basically see that um, along the uh, ribbon right here, we have all of our different buttons. All right, we have some groups that we've, or some tabs that we've seen before, like the home tab, um, actually the home and the file tab. The file tab still takes us to the backstage menu and allows us to save and print and so on and so forth. All right, now moving forward into Access, we see that when we first open up Access, we have the navigation pane over on the left. The navigation pane lifts, lists all of our objects, like tables, queries, reports, and so on that are in the database. And it's the main control center for opening and working with database objects. So you'll mostly always want to have this navigation pane open, but you can close it with this button right here. And it doesn't really close it, it just moves it off to the left and you can open it back up right there. You can also resize the navigation pane by clicking and dragging along the right side handle. Uh, sometimes I like to do this if my table or object names are too long. All right. So Access assigns the default name table1 uh, to the first new table when you create a database. So just keep in mind uh, when you save the table you can uh, give it a more meaningful name. So if I do a control S right now, you'll see that instead of saving the whole database, it saves the object itself, right? So the object itself will be saved right there. Uh, and then I could choose a more meaningful name for it. All right, so let's take a look at tables first, okay? So by default, Access creates the ID field, which is the primary key for all new tables. The primary key is basically a unique identifier uh, where you're gonna have a different, um, name in every single record. So for instance, this could be like a student ID or social security number or something like that. Something that's not going to repeat itself. Then you'll see right here it says click to add. Okay, The click to add column provides another way for you to add new fields into the table. So unlike Microsoft Excel which already has like uh, your column names, in here you actually choose the type of uh, uh, field that you want and then you would re you would name it after that. Okay, uh, then uh, as we move forward, you'll see that I'm going to click away from that for just a second. Uh, this whole data sheet area here is where we actually add records. So let's say I wanted to add in some data here. I would start typing right here and add in the data. Now keep in mind, most of the time you're going to add in more fields. Okay, uh, what you might call a column in Microsoft 
Excel, you would call a field in Microsoft Access. So the fields actually um, allow you to, to type in a column name. For instance, let's say I was doing something like quantity in stock. Well, I'd set it up as a number, and then I would type in field one, quantity in stock. All right. Uh, then I would press Enter to finalize it and then I would type in that number right there. So as I continue to type, let's say my ID is 55 or something something along that line, I could always change these um, to different field types. Like let's say uh, I wanted to go to Table Tools Fields tab and the formatting group and instead of doing an auto number, I'll just choose short text so that I could define my own number. Let's say it's 55 or the let's say the ID is called uh, Chocolate Bar. Okay and then uh, the quantity in stock is 55 then I might go down and I might have one called lollipop and then uh, I might have 20 of those so on and so forth so you'll see that as I move forward it creates different rows which are called records okay what you might call a row in Excel you'd call a record in Microsoft Access and then you'll notice that as we do that down here in the status bar area or just above the status bar area you'll see that you can navigate between your records okay and you can go to the first record previous record next record uh, last record or even start to type a new blank record you could also search for records or manually type a record number in right there then just below this section we have the status bar okay the status bar goes from right here where it says data sheet view and this shows you the contents of um, uh, the contents as a data sheet, okay, and that's the data sheet view, which is the current one you're in. If you need to learn more about views, I can, uh, you should check out my access playlist. And then over here along this is the end of it where we could change between our data sheet and design view. The status bar provides information uh, about the program that's open or the, the, um, object that's currently open. At the far left of the status bar you can see the current view and at the far right you could change your view. So hopefully this has provided a little bit more information on Microsoft Access and the objects that are within it as well as what happens when you first actually open that program. So if this video helped you out please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As I mentioned I do have a Microsoft Access playlist so if you want to learn more about the program make sure you check out that playlist. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.